Army Fitness on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so we're going to start. Today's workout is about 30 minutes long. We have a warm-up. We're going to stretch at the end. The warm-up is going to be all the exercises that we're going to do in the workout. You have some options. You can do it completely body weight. I've made that available. You can do it with dumbbells or a kettlebell. I have one kettlebell here for my workout. You can also add resistance band. I would recommend um, grabbing a fit loop resistance band if you have one. I have a one by seek strength, C-I-K strength. Mm. So, okay, we're going to start with our warm-up. So the first part of our warm-up is going to be squats. I'm going to turn up the music just a little bit in the background. I like to work out the tunes. So let's start with narrow squats. For the narrow stance squats, I want you to place your feet onto your hips, toes facing forward. A squat is like you're sitting on a toilet seat. So sometimes people like to come straight down with a squat. Don't want really to do that. Then drop them backwards like you're looking for a seat. So hips back, that's how you're going to squat. Think about what is happening with your knees. <laughs> Asha has lots to say. Your knees are social distancing when they squat. They're a very COVID-19 rule friendly. Send your knees away from your body. So we're going to start with body weight squats. I'll grab my timer. 30 seconds of narrow stance squats. With squats, just warming up. So slow and controlled with squats. I want you to think about the way you're breathing. Breathing through your nose, inhale, down into your squat, exhale up. Driving your knees away from each other the whole time, then trying to maintain their six feet distance. They're not coming close together. So from our narrow squat, spread your feet, move into wide stance squats. So I want you to bring your feet further than hip width apart, turn your toes away from your body. Same hip hinge, we're gonna send our hips back, like we're looking for a seat to sit on, hips behind you. So you see how my bum goes back, I'm not just dropping it straight down. That weight, your toes should stay connected, but feel that weight in the back of your feet, mid foot to heel, knees going away from each other the whole time. Don't let them do this, where they collapse in. You'll lose power, you'll lose strength. 10 more seconds of squats, then we're going to move into Plank workouts. Hey Asha. Ooh, thank you. A no blanket, so a plank workout. Place your hands beside your feet. Walk your hands out into a plank. So when you end your plank, your shoulders should be above your wrists. We're going to take our tempo, roll it forward, hold for a count of one, two, then walk back up to standing. Now into a plank, and with your shoulders over your wrist, hold the plank for a count of two in your head. One, two, then walk back up. I'm going to do this for ten more seconds. The next 15 seconds, we're going to add Everest climbers to that. So Everest climbers are really wide mountain climbers. Walk your feet out, take your hands out, sorry, take your feet, you're going to place them as close to your hands as you can get them. Left foot forward, then back, right foot forward, then back, and walk to standing. So as you put down your feet, I want you to try and get your heel down. So if you're up here and you can't get your heel down, move your foot back to where your heel connects with the ground. <laughs> Thank you, Asha. No, thank you. You gotta move your blanket and stuff. No, thank you. So, plank walkout. From a plank walkout, in 10 seconds, we're gonna drop to our belly and do five supermans. Walk out into the plank, come down to your belly, your options for a superman. You have your hands by your side, exhale up. As you come up, pull your thighs and chest up from the ground, you're also drawing your belly button up, away from the ground. Second way to do Superman, palms by your ears, exhale, as you come up, hold at the top for one, two, inhale at the bottom, the third way, arms extended overhead, exhale up, hold for one, two, inhale at the bottom, to do five Supermans, picking up your way of doing it, remember as you come up, Exhale, draw your belly button away from the mat, 
Your belly should not be doming into the mat, should not be doming into the ground. For five minutes and 12 warm up. Come back up to standing. We're moving to reverse lunges. Left foot first. So take the left foot, step it back behind you, stepping it in line with your hips. Set your hips back too. Sit down into the lunge. So that front foot, your knee should be hovering over your ankles. So you're sitting, sending your body weight into your back leg. Push through to the back leg to come up. So with the re reverse lunge, as your leg goes back, your hips hinge back too. At the bottom of the lunge, you should feel that weight about 80% of your body weight in your back leg, not in your front leg. Yeah. And then you're lunging for 15 more seconds. On the left, leading with your left leg, and then change sides. With the lunge, be mindful that that right knee, you're driving it away from your body. Again, social distancing knees, they're moving away from your body, not towards you. When I switch sides, lunging, leading with your right foot. So you see how the bottom of the lunge, my hips are back, my chest is forward, I'm not completely upright. With the reverse lunge, it's a hinge, so as my hips go back, my chest follows, and I'm gonna hinge forward at the bottom of that lunge, pushing through the back leg to come back up. We're gonna do plank walkouts again, but this time, Walk your feet behind you. Place your hands by your feet. Walk your feet behind you. Keeping your legs as straight as possible. Walk your feet back to your hands. We're trying to stretch out our hamstrings, the muscles in the back of our legs. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Obstacle 
challenging. Ten more seconds. In three, two, one, and rest. So we're going to start with our workout. Make sure you have some water to hand. It's important to stay hydrated. Our bodies are made of at least 60% water. You need it for every chemical reaction. You need to rehydrate. So this workout is an email, which stands for every minute on the minute. So we have 15 minutes, and every minute you have a different exercise. Three minutes of movement, one minute of rest. So our first minute are narrow to wide squats, which is why they were in the warm-up. So the narrow squats, your feet are under your hips. So wherever your hips are, hip bones are here, my feet is directly under them, toes pointed forward. The squat, I'm going to sit back. So imagine there's a seat here, and I'm trying to find that seat with my bum. So chest up, push my butt back to whatever level you feel comfortable, whatever depth your squat is. My knees, reminding myself to push my knees away. They're going this direction, never towards each other. I'm pushing them out so you can feel that tension in your outer and inner thighs. So it's one minute, narrow squats, and I'm gonna step out, wide squats. Narrow squats, wide squats. You can do that body weight, you can grab some dumbbells, hold it however you like, I have a kettlebell. The second minute are push-ups to Everest climbers.
turn your butt back. You're standing in front of a wall. Stand. Ten inches in front of the wall. Bend. Try and get your butt to touch the wall. Twenty more seconds. Half lucky. in 
lunge, then you're going to reach, touch your toes, then alternate. You have weight, that weight goes on the outside of your foot. Lunge forward, grab the weight with the opposite hand, pass it to the inside of your foot, and then alternate. As you pass that weight, the knee, that your front knee, think about pushing it away from your body rather than letting it collapse in towards your body. If it's collapsing in, you might feel some knee discomfort. So be mindful to push it out. This is a pattern in the whole workout and you need stability to work out. When you're lifting, push your knees away from each other. It helps engage your glute medius, butt muscles on the side, which helps support your knees. You have three more seconds, and then a one minute break. Next exercise, grab your bands if you have it. You can do this without bands, so I just add a little bit of extra work. So it's a donkey kick. Donkey kicks so you on your hands and knees, wrists underneath your shoulders. I keep doing this because I want you to, it's, your joints are most stable when they're stacked in a straight line, stack them on top of each other. What are we doing? Donkey kicks. Knees up to your hips, so you keep your heel goes towards the ceiling. You keep that bend in your knee. Keep, imagine there's a glass of water or a ball of soup on your back. No movement from the low back. You're gonna exhale, keep your heel up towards the ceiling. So you should be feeling this in your butt, back of your thighs, nothing in your low back. You can grab your back, have my six front fabric resistance band, put it just above your knees for extra resistance. We're gonna start. Left foot first, kick your heel up to the ceiling. No movement from your low back, so with that, by that I mean no arch in that back. Back stays stable. This movement is glute driven. Do not bend your elbows. This shouldn't be happening either. Lock your elbows. The only thing moving is your heel towards the ceiling. You're not straightening your leg. You are keeping that bend. Heel goes up. 30 more seconds. Switch sides. Next exercise will be banded glute bridges. Think about it.
mountain time. Next week I'll be part of a holiday workout training with some amazing trainers. So I have one at 11 a.m. on December 28th um, and 11 a.m. on December 31st. We have 20 more seconds. Narrow to white squat. Starting in six seconds. So you can do this with body weight, with dumbbells, with a barbell, with a kettlebell. Narrow and wide. Knees are social distancing. They're not coming together. On the side, hips go back, chest stays up. Job. Uh, oh, well, well, well. We've got 20 more seconds. We're going to start with a half burpee to a deadlift. <coughs> oh, we might have music again. Woohoo! <coughs> Alright, half burpee to deadlift. 
lift the opposite hand, bring it to the inside of your foot, and then switch sides so it ends up on the outside of the other foot. As you're lifting the weight, you're touching your toes, that front leg knee, you're pushing it slightly away from your body. This helps stabilize it. We have there's a one minute break in 30 seconds. Then we have three minutes left in the workout. Almost there. We're gonna have a five minute cool down with some stretches. We're gonna have some lunch. Easy peasy. The quarantine workout in. One minute rest, so we have three minutes left. Grab your band. If you don't have any, grab yourself. <laughs> and the donkey kicks. Move bridges and lateral band walk. Then we have five minutes of stretches. And we're done. This is a quick uh, 30 minute workout. Hit every single muscle group in your body. You have your progressions, different levels of intensity. Pick what works for you. I want you to pick the level that is challenging for you. Sorry, the level that is challenging for you, but that you can do with control. So I want you to be in control of every movement. Best get in control. You can do a lot of things with momentum that you won't be able to do when you slow it down. We're starting in five seconds. Uh, donkey kick. No movement from your lower back. No bending your elbows. That heel goes up towards the ceiling, only as high as you can, while keeping everything else stable. Control. Thirty seconds per side. With ten seconds in. Your wrist should be directly underneath your sh um, shoulders, should be out in front of you, back, line them up. Knee underneath your hips, knees underneath your hips. Exhale, as your heel goes up, three, two, one, switch sides. In 30 seconds, um, there are glute bridge pulses. 30 more seconds, we're so close to the end, you've got this. I don't know why my head wants to say what it wants to say, I'm left. We're finishing with butts, just a little butt play. I said it. <laughs> Blue bridge pulses. Palms up, not pushing through your hands, chin down, look at your belly button, push your knees apart. Pulse, little pulses.
towards your chest and hug your knees tight. Just roll them gently side to side. Just little rolls on your back. Now we'll get it. Excuse me, Asha. And switch sides. Right foot over the left knee, pull your knee, um, left knee towards the, your body so you feel the stretch. And then rotate the ankle that's extended in the air one direction. And then the other direction. Your knees down, you roll forward. Then you just spread your knees apart, turn your toes out away from each other, down on your forearms and push your hips straight back so you feel the stretch in your inner thighs. And then hold. You can, but it will fall. Thank you. 
Monday. I've stuck my thumb in front of it right at the end.